Hey guys, so today I'm showing you how to make butter bread, which is also called butter flaps. So I already have a video up on how to make butter bread, but I think that was the first video I ever made. So it's the first video on my channel. So it's really old. So I'm just making it over so you guys have better quality on this recipe. Okay, so in a large bowl, I added in the flour and to that I'm gonna add in the active dry yeast. So next I'm gonna add in some brown sugar and a little bit of salt and then just use a fork to lightly mix the ingredients together and then we're gonna start adding in the liquid. So I'm gonna add in some warm milk, make sure the milk is warm, and then I'm gonna add in some melted butter. Then I'm gonna use a fork to mix that together and so that the dough can start to come together. And next I'm gonna start adding in some water. And make sure the water is lukewarm water also. Do not add cold water, make sure it's warm water. And when it and when you're adding it, add it slowly because you don't want to add too much because if you add too much of the water, then you will have to add some more flour so that the dough comes all right. So just take your time and slowly add the water while you're mixing the dough. And here I'm using a fork, but soon as you can see, I'm going to switch and start using my hand to knead the dough. You can use a fork to start bringing the dough together but then once it starts combining you're gonna need to use your hand to knead the dough and you're gonna knead the dough for about 10 minutes until it comes together and is smooth and elastic so if you need any more flour while you're kneading the dough you, you can add it just add it little by little if the dough is too still too wet Okay, so once you're finished kneading, you're gonna spray the bowl. I used the same bowl and I just sprayed it with some nonstick cooking spray. And then you're gonna place the dough back into the bowl and then flip it because you, you want both sides of the dough to have a little bit of that uh, grease on it so that it doesn't stick to the plastic wrap we're gonna cover the dough in. So yeah. So now I'm gonna cover the bowl with some plastic wrap and then we're gonna let that rest for one hour. So cover it and let it rest for one hour so that the dough can double in size. So it's been one hour and as you can see the dough has expanded and doubled in size. So now I'm gonna uh, dust my counter surface with a little bit of flour and then I'm just gonna put the dough on top of the counter. So at this point you can start uh, preheating your oven to 375 degrees and we're gonna start cutting our dough and getting it ready to make our butter bread. So you're gonna need a rolling pin and I'm just gonna dust the rolling pin with some flour. And then I cut my dough into nine equal parts. So all I did was I cut it vertically and then I cut it horizontally into equal part. So next I'm taking uh, one piece of the dough and then I'm gonna lightly roll it into the shape of a ball and then I'm gonna take my rolling pin and roll that out and I'm rolling it out into the shape of a, like a square or like a rectangle or the shape of a square but if it doesn't come up uh, like a perfect square that is totally fine so just roll the dough out flat but not too thin and then we're gonna start adding our butter Okay, so for the butter, please make sure it's 
100% pure real butter salted butter at that and make sure it's like a good quality butter and you want it to be softened but not melted you don't want it too soft you don't want it too soft because then it's gonna be runny and messy on top of your dough so after you add the butter you're good now fold the dough in half over the other piece and now I sealing the ends of the dough so before I sealed it I wet the edges with some water so that to help it seal better and then after you press the edges together um, kind of folding it over so that it's perfectly sealed so the butter isn't gonna ooze out too much and then I'm gonna brush some more butter on top of the dough and then I'm gonna fold it in half again Hopefully I, hopefully I explained that pretty well for you guys. Fold and it in half yeah. again, make sure it's pretty sealed, and then put it on a sprayed baking dish. Make sure you spray the uh, baking dish so the bread don't stick. And then I'm gonna brush the top of all the butter bread with some melted or soft butter and then we're gonna bake it in the oven at 375 degrees for about 25 to 35 minutes once it comes out we're gonna brush the top with some more melted butter so make sure you dredge the top in some butter good quality butter it's very important and yeah if you guys want to know what uh, brand of butter I use I use uh, New Zealand, Anchor New Zealand, and I also use this Irish butter that I found at um, Aldi's and also you could find at Trader Joe's. So once it's 100% butter, it's fine. So yeah, once the butter birds come out, make sure you uh, fully coat the top and the sides of the bread with some more melted butter and you could eat it right away. enjoy it however you'd like and that is how i make butter bread that is it for this recipe i hope you guys give it a try and send me your feedback and i will see you next time bye guys